In the last video, we learned how to implement the create opportunity action inside of your workflows. And in this video, we will learn how to find that opportunity if you want to using a specific criteria. So we're gonna go back to workflows from here and I will create a new workflow from scratch. And for this one, the use case is that we already had the lead in our pipeline and notified our sales team. Now our sales team went ahead call this lead and based on their conversation if they thought the lead is qualified they will place a tag on that contact so they will click on this name right here which will open up this contact and then they will scroll down to tags and then put in qualified so we already have that tag defined so if they hit this we basically want to find an opportunity and see if it already exists and once that is successful we will define the next set of actions so if we come back to our workflow right here we will basically create a trigger which will be tag added as that is how our use case is. So from the drop down, I'm going to select tag added and this will be set to qualified. So if this happens, then we want to trigger an action which is find opportunities. So we will click here and search for find opportunity because we want to make sure that we are updating the correct one and not creating duplicates and once this opens up the first option we have is how do you want to find the opportunity so we have two options the first one is do you want to find the most recent one or the first created one now this is usually helpful if you have duplicate opportunities allowed in the account because if you have not allowed it you will not have duplicate opportunities but if you do have multiple instances or multiple opportunities of the same contact then this will come in handy and you will select do you want to find the most recent one or the first created one for that specific contact now because we do not have duplicate contacts allowed in this account so i'll just let it be and this will by default find the opportunity based on unique identifiers like their phone and email but if you do want to check a specific field other than those you can also define them here like opportunity id or maybe the opportunity name, or if you want to check the status in the owner. I do think for starters, you can keep it basic unless you have a use case where you want to explore all these options. So even if you do not add any field for now and just go ahead and click on save action, you will see that it will create two branches by default. So if an opportunity is found, then you can define the next set of actions here. And if it is not found, then you can trigger another action. For example, if an opportunity is not found, then we can create that opportunity since we do not have them in our sales pipeline. So you can go ahead and define that here. And then from the fields and pipeline stage, you can add them to the new lead. And then we just want to define their name. So here we'll basically add the contact name. So we'll choose the full name here and click on save action. So this will make sure that we do catch the missed opportunity if we somehow missed it. And of course, if the opportunity is found, then you can define the next set of actions. So now in the next video, I'll show you how to use the update opportunity as that is going to be linked with find opportunity.